the Alnu, third generation version of the Porsche KN has been introduced. But it does not look very different from the second generation model, which also has similar styling to its predecessor, the first Porsche Sport utility vehicle. The 2018 KN does not share with the previous model any body panels, nor the body structure now comprising 47% aluminium by weight, including the roof, doors, tailgate and bonnet. I had to look carefully to spot the differences in exterior design. A light strip between the taillights, like that on the new Panamera, is the new KN's most distinguishing design feature. And if you are overtaken by one, you will also notice an active rear spoiler at the top of the tailgate. This is the first time such a device has been used on an SUV. The interior, on the other hand, is dramatically different from any other KN. There is a 312mm touchscreen HD display in the center of the dashboard, and there are two 178mm displays flanking the analog tachometer within the instrument cluster. All the displays provide a wide range of information for the driver. The central touchscreen serves as the main input panel for the driver or front seat passenger. Porsche's latest PCM Porsche communication management can be connected online for navigation and media. Depending on the country the driver is in, PCM provides on-demand route information, including traffic status, parking availability, weather and specific services provided by Porsche. With performance being a priority for KN customers, the question is whether this new car is likely to be one of the sportiest full-sized SUVs. All the engines are new and turbocharged. The base KN comes with a single turbo 2995cc V6 engine that produces 340 bhp and 450 nm, the torque staying constant between 1340 rpm and 5300 rpm. The KNS uses the same V6, but with a slightly shorter stroke hence 2,894 cc, and adds another turbo and 100 bhp. Torque rises by 102 to 550 nm, which peaks at 1,800 rpm, and does not fade until 5,500 rpm. Both these V6 engines benefit from Porsche's Vario Cam Plus system, which alters the timing of the camshafts and features a camshift mechanism on the inlet camshaft that swaps to a different cam for more lift. Just introduced last week at the Frankfurt Motor Show is the flagship KN. Its 3,996cc B-Turbo V8 is a highly respected member of the Volkswagen Group engine family having provided the Bentley V8, Audi RS6 and Porsche Panamera Turbo with supercar levels of performance. Tuned for 550 bhp from 5,750 to 6,000 rpm and 770 nm 1,960 to 6,000 rpm, the 2,175 kg KN Turbo sprints to 100 kmh from a standstill in 4.1 seconds. The standard transmission is an 8-speed automatic not dual glitch PDK, with an electronic entry differential to modulate torque transfer rear to front and vice versa. A new brake disc surface coating has also been introduced with the new KN Turbo. The cast steel disc is coated with a 0.15 mm layer of tungsten carbide plasma, making it corrosion resistant and looking almost mirror or finished after 600 km of usage. At a testing facility outside Dusseldorf, Porsche presented technical details of its new KN. I was not allowed to drive the car, but as part of the workshop, I was driven through a gravel-filled, rocky and undulating terrain, then a high-speed tarmac course. The wet weather played a significant role in showing off the KN's uncanny off-road ability. It was even more impressive on the wet and sinuous circuit, with the Porsche train drivers all with professional racing experience obviously enjoying themselves while drifting the KNs on some of the curves. No doubt, the electronically controlled four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering and expert drivers made it look easy, but this is still an SUV that weighs more than two tons. The rider contributes to Torque, a motoring monthly published by SPH magazines.